Hello and welcome to eMultiSkills video tutorial. In this video tutorial, we will learn what is PG Repack or uh, what is the utility which is used to rebuild the tables online in PostgreSQL. So what is PG uh, Repack utility in PostgreSQL? So PG Repack utility is uh, a utility which is used to rebuild PostgreSQL database objects online. So this particular utility, pg underscore repack, is not available by default. This is available as an extension, and when you wanted to use it to remove uh, the dead tuples or bloating in the tables or the indexes, you have to use this uh, pg repack extension. You have to explicitly download it, uh, use it as an ex extension for removing the dead tuples and bloating. So. Uh, this is uh, uh, this is somewhat similar to the auto vacuum which we use to remove uh, uh, the bloating uh, or uh, uh, dead tuples in the tables or the indexes. But what it does, apart from what uh, auto vacuuming is doing, it is restoring the physical structure of the clustered indexes, and uh, and uh, uh, it 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 actually removes the bloating, which is uh, sometimes not possible by the auto vacuum process. What are the advantages of using PG Repack? PG Repack utility it releases storage from the table to the file system. So the dead tuples, which is occupying the storage in the tables or indexes, which is uh, leading to the uh, slower performance of those tables which are included in the query, it removes uh, those uh, storage back to the file system, and uh, this can be used for rebuilding a table where in bloating has occurred and auto vacuum process is not able to remove it and when you rebuild a table it um, of course reduces the IO because the size of the table uh, becomes smaller in terms of the number of pages which it is going to use and it it actually releases the uh, dead tuples which are, has accumulated as the bloat in the tables uh, which uh, auto vacuum process is not able to release so now we'll see the demo on PG Repack. So there are three steps. So we will see how to install PG underscore Repack because this is not available by default. You need to explicitly download this utility. Then we'll see how to bind it to a particular database wherein we have to use this PG underscore Repack utility. And then we will rebuild a couple of databases and we'll see how it works. So let's see the demo. And uh, so I have a Linux system where uh, the IP address is 192.168.1.56 uh, uh, and we will see how to perform it. The first step is how do we install the PG repack extension. So we'll say yum install PG underscore repack. I'm using the uh, version 12. So I will be using uh, this PG underscore repack uh, 12. So this is going to take uh, uh, less than a, a minute or so, and uh, I have the internet connectivity on the server. I'll just say yes, and this utility will be installed within no time. This is done. The next step is uh, you switch to the Postgre user. We'll switch to the Postgre user. And once it is done, we'll just run PSQL, just run PSQL. Okay, let me see if uh, we have started server or not. Pseudo system CTL start PostgreSQL 12. So let's fire PSQL. Okay. It was down, that's why we were not able to connect it. Then next, what we will see, uh, what we will do is we will say set shared underscore preload libraries is equal to pg underscore repack. You need to get this enabled uh, shared uh, uh, preload uh, library so that we will be able to use it. It is saying that shared preload library cannot be changed without restarting the server. So let's restart the server using the next step wherein we will say pgctl hyphen d dollar pg data restart hyphen uh, mf. So let's uh, restart it. Uh, this is restarted. Let's see 
psql yes we are able to connect again and then what we will do is so we will create the extension where in we are going to rebuild the uh, uh, the tables online so just uh, let, let's see the number of uh, databases we have psql hyphen l you can see that we have dvd rental database uh, dvd rental underscore new now and we are going to rebuild the tables in that particular database so what we will do is uh, just change to that particular table switch to that particular user uh, sorry table dvd rental and now what we will do is this is very very important uh, whatever database you wanted to use this PG repack to uh, to run the uh, the online utility to repack the table and the indexes you have to run this so if I say create extension PG underscore repack and what we are doing it is in DVD rental database so once the extension is created then only you can use it and the final step is we will uh, rebuild the tables online so just quit out of psql and what we will say is uh, we will rebuild the tables online so there is a table called as actor in this particular database so first uh, thing we can do is uh, uh, we can uh, uh, do a dry run let me clear the screen and uh, then we say uh, pg repack hyphen hyphen dry hyphen run hyphen d database name hyphen hyphen table and uh, the table name and the table name is actor okay i need to give the complete location uh, because uh, uh, i have couple of uh, instances running so i need to tell the exact either i set the location using uh, path i set the uh, path location or I can use the complete binary location so let's say uh, pg repack hyphen hyphen dry run hyphen d database hyphen hyphen table table name okay dry run enabled not executing repack so just to this was a dry run so let's do the actual run now and same thing without uh, hyphen hyphen dry run okay uh, I need to give or I should have uh, let me export path equal to dollar path colon give let me give the binary location okay pg repack hyphen d database so you can see that uh, repacking is done let's try it for the entire database so first we will do the dry run and then we will do the actual run pg repack hyphen hyphen dry run hyphen d database so let's perform this so dry run enabled not executing repack so let's do the actual run now it's very very simple what we are saying is uh, pg repack hyphen d then database name hyphen j uh, the number of threads uh, and we are going to run it in parallel so you can see that it has taken all the indexes tables of that particular database so this is done because there was no um, uh, dead tuple and uh, uh, the uh, what do you say the bloating in the database uh, tables or the indexes so everything was fine that's why it came out otherwise depending upon how many dead tuples or bloating you have it is going to take its own time you can run this uh, utility remotely as well if you wanted to drop the extension you just say drop extension extension name and you can remove that if I try to run this command onto a database where uh, 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 this particular extension is not enabled, it will not work. So if I there is a database with the name DVD rental underscore new, so let me show you that psql hyphen l. You can see that DVD rental underscore new database is there. So let us try to um, execute uh, this dry run in that particular database so dvd rental underscore new we are trying the dry run 
so dry run enable not executing uh, repack let's try to actually run it i'm not sure if i actually uh, executed the uh, the extension command in that if it is done then it will work i think i have already uh, done it that's why it is uh, showing otherwise it will throw you the error that first you uh, uh, the extension is not enabled so in that case you have to enable it and then uh, then you have to execute it so just to recap what we have uh, seen is uh, PG repack utility is used to rebuild the Postgre databases objects online and it removes the bloat from the tables and the indexes and it restores the physical order of cluster indexes. So what you have to do is first you have to install this extension. So you, I have a Linux system. So I, I just mentioned yum install PG underscore repack 12 because I have the instance uh, uh, 12 then you have to sh uh, set the shared preload library which is equal to pg underscore repack then i have restarted the instance then the particular database wherein you have to to enable this online activity you just create the extension in that particular database then uh, using the pg repack utility uh, we have done a dry run for the database then we actually uh, removed that uh, hyphen hyphen dry run then we actually did it for one table then for the entire database we have tried it and in case you wanted to drop the extension you have to uh, just say drop extension extension name and then finally if you because once your activity is done uh, you can remove the pg repack utility and this is all about uh, the pg repack I hope this is going to help and uh, thanks for watching.